On the agenda is public to be heard. Doug Levin, 110 East Center Avenue. I want to let everybody know that we're looking for additional volunteers for the uh, Newtown Barrow Town Watch. We have four different types of volunteers we're looking for. The first two don't involve any additional time for the person volunteering. The first one is a block captain. This is someone that is, we consider a block as one street to another street. So that would be like Washington, Congress to Chancellor would be one block. And that person would just keep an eye on things in front of their block and report anything suspicious. So it really just during their normal day-to-day -day work. The second type of volunteer we're looking for is what we call a dog walker. It doesn't, it doesn't mean you have to be a dog walker. Um, anybody that is out and about town, maybe they bike around a lot, they jog through town, uh, they have a baby and they walk in the stroller quite often, um, or of course dog walkers. And so those folks were looking for just in their normal, again, day-to-day -day routine, if they see anything sus suspicious, they would report it. For both of those, again, no additional time. The only thing we ask is they go to a training session so that they understand what to look for and how to report it properly. The next type of volunteer is what we call patrol. And that would take some time, so that's someone that's willing to dedicate some time. Uh, right now, we're not sure exactly how much time, because it depends on the volunteers, but we would have set patrols where they would walk certain areas that the police recommend us. It would change based on the activity that the police let us know where, you know, where things are that they should be patrolling. Um, but that would, again, take some dedicated time. And then the last type of volunteer is any type of business that has um, people that are out and about the borough. An example would be uh, George Leck Waste Service. They volunteered all their trucks. So their, their drivers actually have had some training through Homeland Security, but then we're going to work with them specific for borough issues. So anytime you see a Leck truck out there, know that they're keeping an eye on us as well as cleaning up our town. So um, I just want to let everybody know that if anybody has um, would like to volunteer, they could give me a call at 215 327-8232, or email us at newtownboroughtw at gmail.com. So it's newtown, B-O-R-O-T-W, at gmail.com. And then lastly, if you do see anything suspicious, don't get involved. Simply dial 911, let them know you're in Newtown Borough, and um, the operator will ask you for the specific information they need to get the police involved, but you don't want to get involved. The we pay the police to do their job, and we want to make sure that they have the information to do it properly, but that we don't mess them up. So, thank you. Good evening. I'm Jane Peters from 125 Court Street, and I do have a quick handout for the council. Uh, basically, what I'm here for this evening, this is more of an informational visit than it is uh, a request. I represent a group of residents and friends in the township and the borough who were concerned about uh, the first Saturday wagons uh, that were going through the business district. Uh, apparently the traffic and the safety issues, uh, we're, we're concerned about that. I have spoken to the Newtown Corporation, and they seemed uh, open to alternatives to have the same sort of charm and historical uh, ambiance at these First Saturday groupings uh, without the horse and, and wagon. So um, they told me that if I could come up with alternatives, or if any of us could, that they would gladly uh, Think about those. So I have contacted the Bucks County Trolley Company, and they are going to put together um, their best uh, proposal. We were thinking that the trolleys move quicker. Uh, they're smaller, so traffic can get around them. People can hop on and off, as they do in Philadelphia. And they're also uh, good in all kinds of weather, whether it be rain, hot, or cold. And it doesn't have the same sort of a downside that the horse and wagons seem to. So uh, we are going to distribute the handouts that I have shown you to the Sycamore and State Street businesses, asking them to please let it be known to Newtown Corporation that they are also open to alternatives and they're not locked into the 
horse and wagon situation, we're more concerned not just about the wagon, that happens once a month. What we're concerned about, I'm sure all of you have friends in New Hope, I know I do, and they tell me, if you think that it's charming, try driving through New Hope on a Saturday. Um, it is not charming, it is a disruption, it's a safety hazard, and if they could get rid of the carriages, they would. But unfor unfortunately, it's become such, such commerce there for the carriage companies that they really can't seem to do much about it. So I'm here because if I didn't come tonight and tell you that there are a group of us that are upset, you wouldn't know about it. And Newtown Corporation said to me, well, gee, you caught us off guard. We didn't know that anybody would be upset. So I guess that's what I'm saying is there are some people who are upset and we are trying to uh, do what we can to offer an alternative. We all live here. Nobody wants to shut down first Saturday. What we're hoping is that we can make it better for everybody. Thank you very much for your time. Good evening, Jennifer Pennington, 524 Penn Street, and I'm here this evening representing the joint Newtown Borough, Newtown Township Traffic Committee. Uh, I just want to inform council that we are in progress planning our second um, pedestrian safety week. Our first was last October and it was somewhat hastily put together. It was a, a test program for us and we have, um, we're trying to refine that program for this spring. We'd like to continue the program in the spring and the fall. Um, we have already spoken with the chief, our chief of police about the potential date and uh, spoken with Goodno Elementary as well about that. We will be coming back to you hopefully next month with a more formal presentation. And uh, within that, um, we are we, we hope to expand the program. Last fall, the the program emphasized specifically traffic details along Washington Avenue and Sycamore Street to inform drivers and pedestrians of the state law that requires a yield to pedestrians. We hope to expand on that, continue the enforcement patrols, but also um, we're working on a tie-in with Goodno Elementary, and uh, we also would like to explore some temporary signage to help um, draw more attention to the event and to the law. Um, we do not have a budget as a committee, so we will be looking for sponsors for our signage, so if anyone in the audience is interested in working with us on that, please get in touch with me or with Gerard. Um, and the dates we are looking at um, begin around Memorial Day, starting the Friday before Memorial Day and continuing through the following weekend. And uh, it looks like that date ha actually has some great tie-ins with the elementary schools. They have the field day activity that, that Mr. Burke had mentioned in the past, and also a walking tour of Newtown is scheduled for that same week. So we're hoping to tie in, tie in expand, and as always, um, input and ideas are welcome from council and everyone in town, so please feel free to share them with us. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Jen, did you want to be on the agenda for the May meeting for the traffic committee? Yes, yes. I, okay. That's, yes, okay. thank you. And also, just one last plug, I see our uh, smart growth grant, smart transportation grant is on the agenda for later this evening and very happy to see that uh, funding agreement on there. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>